Hey y'all, my name is Miss V and welcome to my channel. So today's topic is going to be on rigid motion versus non-rigid motion. So this is a concept in geometry. When we talk about transformations, this is one of the very first concepts you learn about. So what do we mean by rigid motion? What do we mean when we say rigid motion? Well, imagine you have a table, coffee table. Don't mind my horrible drawing of my coffee table. That coffee table, you can't change the size or the shape of it unless you, you know, destroy the coffee table, get rid of it. So rigid motion is kind of the same idea. It's something that you can't change the size or shape of. The only thing I can really do with this coffee table is I can move it around the room by sliding it in different directions. I could rotate that coffee table if I want to. So if I want to turn it so that instead of facing that way, it's facing this way, for example, I could do that as well. Or I can flip the, top, the coffee table so now it's on its back, I guess you would say, with the legs facing upward. So rigid motion just means a transformation on a shape that didn't change the size or the actual figure of that shape, okay? So on this side, we have some examples of rigid motions, and these are three different examples that I was able to find. So notice here how all three shapes, the, um, the image before you do anything to it, any transformation, is called the pre-image. The pre-image. And after you do the transformation, you call it the image. Okay, so we go from the pre-image to the image. So think of pre as in like before. So before you do any transformation, that's your pre-image. After you do the transformation, it's the image, okay? So these are our rigid motions, and over on this side, we have our non-rigid motions. And notice here how the pre-image with these two triangles, the pre-image is smaller than the image. Same thing here, the pre-image is smaller than the image, okay? And one thing I really want to point out is whenever you have the pre-image, the way you can tell the difference between the pre-image and the image is... Notice here this triangle, the blue triangle, A, B, C. Notice how it's just the letters A, B, and C. There's no apostrophe next to it. So this right here in blue, this is our pre-image. Okay? So pre-image, remember, is before you do any transformation. So pre, before. And the yellow triangle on the outside is the image. Once you do a specific transformation on a shape, then you would put a little apostrophe next to each of the letters to indicate or show that you've done a transformation to it, that you've changed the shape in some way. So rigid motion, like I said, is a type of transformation that does not change the size or shape of a figure. It preserves size and shape. And three types of rigid motion, which you guys may have heard of, are slides, which is called the translation, a flip, which is a reflection, or a turn, which is a rotation. So first thing is a translation. So basically all you're doing is moving the figure on your coordinate plane, but without changing the orientation. So you are sliding it all over the coordinate plane, but you're not changing the way it's facing. So for example, if I were to draw, let's say, my pre-image triangle in red and my image triangle in, in green, let's say, yes, I did slide the triangle this way, but I also had to... I changed the, the orientation of it. So the top of the triangle is no longer facing upwards. Now it's facing the side. So this right here would not be a translation, or it wouldn't just be a translation, okay? So a translation requires you to just slide the shape either to the right, the left, up, or down. A reflection is basically you flipping an object over a certain axis or line. So depending on what your question asks, you can be asked to flip it over the y-axis. You can be asked to flip it over the x-axis. You can be asked to flip it over the line y equals x. There's different options that you have that you can flip your figure or reflect your figure over. So just make sure that you're reading the question properly. Um, in another video, I'm going to go over what happens to each of your coordinates once you reflect it about certain axes or certain lines. Um, so stay tuned for that video. 
And finally, we have a rotation, which is basically turning an object or a figure around a specific point. Usually, it's going to be the origin, but you could always change the point that you rotate the figure around. Um, and rotations, you can rotate them by 90, 180, 270, 360, any multiple of 90, pretty much. Um, you can also rotate it to some degree in between, but that's not very common. Um, if it does happen, then you kind of have to guesstimate. So for example, let's say I say rotate it 160 degrees. I know that 160 is between 90 and 180, so the figure is going to be somewhere over here. So something like that. So go ahead and pause the video right now and figure out which of the following, um, what these each of these transformations represents, whether it's a rigid or a non-rigid motion. So go ahead and pause the video. This is example one, two, and three, and identify each of those transformations. All right, so the very first one, as you can tell, the size of the triangle did not change. Size stayed the, the same. So this is a rigid motion. Okay, this is a rigid motion. And specifically, this is a reflection, okay? If you were able to identify the specific rigid motion as well, then that is good, okay? So that is a rigid motion and it is a reflection. And you can kind of tell if you draw an imaginary line going downward here. Kind of looks like you grab the triangle here and you just whoop, flip it over to the other side. The second example is a non-rigid motion. And the reason I know that is because the letter L over here is tiny and over here it's a lot bigger. So I changed the size of the letter L. This is a non-rigid motion, which is specifically called the dilation, which I'll discuss in another video as well. And finally, the third one is called a rigid motion. Okay. And this one is a translation. Translation. Okay. And this one has the pre-image and the image. So the pre-image, remember, is before you do any transformation. So pre, before you do anything to it. And the image is after you, com you, you complete the transformation, whether it's a rigid or a non-rigid motion transformation. All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more about geometry.